The Dream Chaser is a space plane built by Sierra Nevada Corporation, which has its technology and operations center in Louisville, Colorado. Dream Chaser has landed a contract with NASA for six resupply missions to the International Space Station starting in 2021. And now they just need a lift through Earth's atmosphere. Yes, it was a competitive market, but this was the choice that, that, uh, that I feel is best for this program. Today, the announcement was made that Dream Chaser will ride to space on next generation Vulcan rockets built by United Launch Alliance, which has technology and operation centers in Centennial, Colorado. I think you all are aware this is a very competitive launch market nowadays and to be selected by SNC to fly this block of missions on our Vulcan launch vehicle is just a tremendous honor. Sierra Nevada Corporation says ULA beat out five competitors from Japan, Europe, and America's SpaceX company. They cite competitive pricing along with a flawless track record for ULA's win. We've flown 134 times. We have never failed to take our mission to space and we will not fail you. Once in space, Dream Chaser will separate from the rocket and latch on to the International Space Station carrying 12,000 pounds of cargo. It can then remain as a science workstation for up to 75 days before returning to Earth with a soft landing on a runway instead of a plunge into the ocean. These will be unmanned missions as Dream Chaser lost NASA's bid to be one of their crewed spacecraft. But SNC says it was built for a crew with a shuttle-like cockpit, and they are still in the running to have humans one day pilot pilot the dream chaser. I think that's going to happen. Crude missions, I think, are coming. We just have to build it, and they will come. From Louisville, meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.